UNITA International University um, is one of the first private universities in Malaysia. Uh, it, it was also the first virtual university in the whole of Southeast Asia. One of the core mission of UNITA was actually bringing access to learning. The goal um, to have access to learning to as many uh, people as possible uh, requires IT to be an integral part. Uh, now we're trying to bring it to a different level. We migrated I think on several different uh, platforms to Microsoft. I think the first and foremost was our uh, email, email and communication system. We had been using an open source system, uh, but after going through some time, we, we found several issues with reliability and consistency. So we did a full migration into Microsoft Exchange um, and Office 365. The migration process did not take that long. It was about three to four months. The feedback from employees has been good. I think, the, um, firstly, again, the fact that they can use it on more devices than one, um, you know, gives them the freedom to be able to achieve work from home without needing to lug around all your equipment at the same time. Um, it also allows them uh, any time to uh, access the full uh, suite of tools uh, online. There is now greater collaboration and effective communication between our professors and also our peers through the usage of Microsoft Office 365. Microsoft Office 365 is very much reliable. I am an education student, thus I believe that IT and the learning platforms would definitely benefit me in my future profession. I'm very happy with the service and my concern here would be to encourage more students to use Office 365. In terms of improvements, uh, in terms of business efficiency and, and even cost, I think um, Office 365 has a much simpler uh, structure so that uh, you know, we can uh, predict our costs much easier. We can, uh, you know, adding on licenses doesn't take as much time and time is cost to us. Previously, our system was mainly just an email system. Now we have, uh, you know, chat integrated to it. We have discussion boards in the form of Yammer. We have potential video conferencing in the form of Link. We have uh, SharePoint uh, in order to build mini websites um, for us to collaborate on. So this uh, is a far beyond what we had before. At the same time, we have existing systems uh, where we can integrate Office 365 with. All around, I think the, the feedback has been great. In order to have access to learning, we were giving tablets to our students. Initially, we were using uh, the Android platform. Um, and we had been scouting around for different platforms. However, once we embarked on uh, Office 365, um, in order to get better integration and fuller utilization of Office 365, you cannot run away from uh, a Microsoft uh, operating system platform. We did not really decide this just on our own. We actually conducted forums and uh, um, groups, uh, focus groups with students and asked them to evaluate which platform do they prefer. I think the unanimous uh, decision was actually to go on the Microsoft platform. We made the decision in September, I think, 2014, to move towards the Windows 8.1 platform. Deploying Windows on the tablet, I think, uh, was when we switched from Android to Windows, was not a problem because everybody's, uh, you know, you are familiar with Windows, so there's nothing to relearn. We work very closely with our hardware partners um, um, on on, de on deployment. Typically, we deploy about three to 4,000 units of tablets a year. Windows 8.1 is a full-fledged operating system. With 8.1, it uses the same architecture. Uh, whatever uh, you know, things that you use on your PC can also be available um, on the tablet. Reliability uh, you know, is good uh, and, and, and it saves us costs from the perspective of apps that we've developed for the PC use can also be used on, on tablets right now. In the future, we'll be creating applications and uh, now that we've done the switch from Android to Windows 8.1, we'll only be you know, uh, developing applications for the Windows platform. This is a, a, you know, a very important uh, strategy for us. So uh, we want to be able to have applications that can store some of the learning materials um, so that they can access offline. But at the same time, capture their actions, you know, uh, they may be answering quizzes and things like that. But as soon as you get online, it will synchronize back to our system. 
Moving to a pure cloud-based solution, I think, uh, is definitely part of our roadmap.